Welcome to the Event Answer Studio. Today, I wanna to show you how to create a balloon garland and wrap it up in metal structure, giving you a gorgeous balloon display in a narrow space. To create the garland, we need to inflate two 11 inch balloons anywhere between six and eight inches in diameter. Once I've got those inflated, I'm gonna press them against the table so that they're nice and round and then tie them together into a pair by wrapping the nozzle around twice and tying them together in a simple knot. I'm gonna create three pairs just like this and then twist them all together into a cluster of six balloons. So take your first two pairs, overlap them so that the nozzles touch right in the center, and then twist one balloon from each of those pairs around it, locking it into a quad. Now to this quad, we're gonna add the third pair. So slip it in so that all the nozzles touch right in the center, and then wrap one balloon from that new pair around a balloon that's already in the quad, and that will lock them into our cluster of six. Now I'm creating four clusters in each of my four colors, giving me a total of 16 clusters for this garland. To tie the garland together, I'm gonna to use two empty 260 balloons. You could always use fishing line or curly ribbon if you prefer that. Now to use the 260s, I'm gonna pinch the balloon and stretch all the air out and tie the end in a knot. And then I'm gonna take two of these 260 balloons and tie them end to end. So I get a nice, long, stretchy string that I can tie all my balloons together with. So take this string and tie the end of it to one of the nozzles in your first cluster of balloons. Now on top of this, you're gonna take a second cluster in a different color and press it right on top of the first cluster so that they're nice and tight together. Then you're gonna take your 260 string, stretch it up through the center of that new cluster and then wrap it in a figure eight pattern around two of the balloons in that new cluster, securing them together. Then I'm gonna repeat these steps by nestling the next cluster on, stretching the 260 up through the center and wrapping it in a figure eight until I've got nine clusters all together into one long garland, paying special attention to the colors I'm placing next to each other so I don't get too much of a pattern going across my garland. Once I get to the last cluster, I'm gonna take the end of my 260 string and tie it to one of the nozzles in that last cluster, securing all the balloons together in one long string. Now we need a structure to attach our balloon garland to that will allow it to be freestanding and give it height. I'm using two of these 40 inch tall flower stands and if I stack them on top of each other, I get this gorgeous 80 inch tall stand that packs down relatively small. Before I add the balloons to this though, I need to secure them together by wrapping some clear packaging tape around each of the four sides where the stands meet and also add some weights to the base of this so it's nice and stable for our balloons to be attached to. I'm gonna wrap the garland in an S shape around the frame starting in the top right corner. So take the garland and place it behind the stand, aligning that first balloon cluster with the corner of the stand. And then we're gonna press the balloons onto the frame so that the nozzles of that cluster are touching the frame. And then bring a couple of those balloons all the way around because the tension between those balloons is what will hold the garland to the frame. Then I'm gonna wrap the garland around the front side of the stand, making sure the center of my balloon garland is right in the center of that stand. One, to cover up the center point where I joined those two stands together, but also this means my balloon garland is gonna be symmetrical and my S shape will be nice and even from top to bottom. So once I've got that bottom curve of the S formed, we now have the basic shape of our garland in place. On top of this base garland, we're gonna add even more balloon clusters to fill it out and make it more luxurious. So anywhere I think I need a little bit more interest, I'm gonna add my remaining balloon clusters. And you can either tie the nozzle of one of these clusters into the nozzles on the garland, but an easier way I like to attach them is to take a rubber band and slip it over one of the balloons in the cluster, making sure that rubber band is all the way in and touching the nozzles of that cluster. And that'll give us an easy way to attach it to the garland. Now to make this go super quick, I keep lots of rubber bands on my wrist for easy attachment. Decide where you want that cluster to sit and then pick a balloon right next to that position, stretch the rubber band that's attached to our cluster around that balloon in the garland, and that will pull the two balloon clusters together, giving them a nice tension. And then you can just rotate the cluster around until it nestles in exactly where you want it. With my remaining balloon clusters, I decided to elongate my garland by adding some to the top and the bottom, and then filling out the midsection of my garland so it had a real presence right in the center. To give the garland more visual interest and texture, I'm gonna add these mini balloon quads. Now these are five inch balloons that I've inflated to four pumps of air using a hand pump or about four and a half inches in diameter. I tied them into pairs and then twisted them into quads just like we did the larger balloons. 
I'm going to attach these little quads to the garland using the rubber band method. And I want to look at the garland as a whole and anywhere it looks like it needs a little more fullness or texture, that's where I want to add in these little quads. Now you'll notice that I've placed this quad on the same color of cluster in my garland and that's because I'm going for a color blocked look. So all of the same colors are on top of each other and that allows each color to really shine in the garland. Once I finish placing all 16 of my mini quads, I'm then going to finish off this look with a brilliant neon happy birthday sign that I just wired to the frame, tuck the power cord into the balloon garland so you can't see it, and this design is ready for a party or celebration. If you enjoyed today's project, you should check out this video next, and until next time I see you, remember, stay creative everybody!